Hi guys, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about how we can make the common header footer, how we can use the common jQuery, bootstrap and CSS. So these are some major points that we are going to cover in this video. So first of all, we will make a common layout, then we will use this layout on the all pages and then we will include some jQuery, bootstrap and use them. And uh, from uh, we will take some dummy. A style code from uh, any official website of bootstrap or something from air uh, from something uh, other site and we will use it all right so that we can see that how we can how the common jquery and bootstrap is working so let's start with the first piece first of all make just common uh, layout so for that i'm just going to create one more file inside the view which is layout dot blade dot php and guys if you want to know uh, more about the blade template and layout then you can watch our previous video link is given in the description box so let's uh, I just use the uh, HTML tag or oh, he just created the whole tag but I'm just going to create a small some tags and use them one by one so let's say I just create the header and inside header I will uh, add the bootstrap and uh, css just after making the header so let's make a body also inside the body uh, let's take a section which is with the at the rate at the rate means the derivatives are there which is provided by the blade template let's choose a section and use your header and in this header let's take a div and here you can make any class if you want like uh, class header and after that let's put one h1 header part all right and at the last we have to use the at the rate show derivatives okay with the same thing you can do uh, the footer if you want like all right and uh, for the middle section you can uh, take one more thing if you want but uh, for that uh, let's going to take only this part so that we can co quickly uh, complete this video all right so header is almost ready here so now what i'm going to do uh, i'm just going to use it on the all pages for that uh, i'm just going to open my f uh, user page which is i created already so here you can this header that is mentioned which is coming from this page so i'm simply uh, using my uh, layout here so first first command for that is that it extend and in the extend i have to put the, my file name which is the layout okay and after that i can simply use at the rate section and we can put here name like sorry he sometime he just create the autocorrect and just uh, put something else and just put the section name which is the header and uh, and we need to end it in the middle just write here at the rate parent all right now let's try what's going on here then when i'm just going to write here you can see that we got the header part inside here from this file okay so that's okay but how we can include the style uh, the files also for that uh, let's uh, use some tags here i'm just going to make here uh, a derivative section uh, the section name is like head or you can put the common whatever you want to suit it okay so and at the rate show at the end and inside this uh, you can put some name like uh, script and inside the script just put the src and in the src we have to uh, we need to pass the file and the file where is your present is uh, assets I will show you just use the assets function and inside the assets your file path is like JS and app dot js okay so now when you just see it it will show you that uh, a token error you will see here 
as you can see that CRS token is not found because in the Laravel you have to put the CSRF token and just use a meta here inside the meta just simply put here name of meta which is uh, telling here CSRF token so for that just write here CSRF token and just use the content here also okay and just simply write here Uh, double curly brackets with right here just simply csrf underscore token and this is the function actually and now let's try it now you can see that this is not here and let's see here you are able to see the uh, your js file so if you want to find it where it is like located because they are already provided by the laravel so just go in the public file in the js file you can find it here alright so with the same thing we can include the uh, style also so then just like here link inside the link uh, same thing we have to put here we just need to change the path for a while and just write here CSS and let's see so what's going on here okay uh this file is not found i think okay so i just have to put here css now you can see that uh, some file is changed here and let's try to find which file is added here so when you just see with with your body you can see that uh, some tag uh, css is coming from here all right that's okay so let's uh, make this header more interactive for that I'm just going to get some code from bootstrap 4 because by default there is a bootstrap 4 uh, if you want to check the version then you can just simply go to the uh, uh, composer.json and let's uh, find here uh, okay for that you just uh, go in the package.json file and here you can see that jquery here and bootstrap is also here so bootstrap is four point something is here so let's uh, come back and find here bootstrap 4 okay so let's go to the w3 schools and uh, find some thing for navigation this is the navbar all right so he is telling some nice navbar so let's take uh, anyone that you just like I'm just going to take this one yep let's copy it here and simply I'm just going to put it, it inside here and let's see uh, is it working or not oh nice it's looking very nice let's try to make it small then you can see that they are also responsive that's nice okay so let's try to apply the same thing in another page this is the user page so I have one more page and which is the company uh, here you can see that company data so I'm just going to copy this thing from here to the uh, let's uh, put it on the company data here also so make it here and uh, that's nice so let's try to run it now you can see that the data is also here so this is okay for the both file both files so we can see that the common style is here so let's say you want to use some uh, you want to zoom some uh, jquery also so because we just proved that J uh, bootstrap is added here but how we can check that jquery is added or no all right so for that uh, you can just inside the uh, here and you can write some style also uh, write some just script inside the script tag just write here dollar document dot ready and here just write here function 
and let's console here echo code or whatever you want to put then you can see that you got echo code here and for the checking out the common thing just put here user here you can see that the echo code is also here that means the common uh, jquery is also calling here so this is all about that how we can use the common jquery common header footer bootstrap style so if you have still any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks guys thanks for watching this video